With the temperatures rising, I've been spending more and more time sitting in the backyard. The garden is definitely springing back to life. And the longer I spend out here, the more I start noticing how many things there are to notice. I can look at any patch of ground or bunch of grass or flowering bud, and there will be some sort of action taking place. It feels like a new array of TV channels have just appeared overnight. I can tune into any corner of the garden to watch all sorts of different programming. For instance, let's turn the channel to Foxglove Beard Tongue TV, better known as Penstemon Digitalis TV for our Latin-speaking audience. I've got three of these that I planted last year, and their white blooms are now attracting this eastern carpenter bee. I love how they have to shove their little heads into the flower to feed. We've got some sort of lady beetle hanging out on a nearby leaf. A couple inches away, there's a massive spittlebug froth. I always thought that these were some sort of egg masses, but after looking it up, I learned that this bubbly stuff is a secretion created by these spittlebugs to protect themselves from predators and harsh weather conditions. And while the name spittlebug might make you think that they're spitting this stuff up, it actually comes out the back end. Cool! Let's switch over to the pond network for a second, where some sort of wasp is making a cameo appearance to get a sip of water. And two leaves from a newly planted water lily have just emerged. Will it flower this season? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Here's the Carolina rose, a native sprawling rose that I have growing on this trellis alongside some virgin's bower. It's not ready to bloom quite yet, and I don't see any insects here, but I do see signs of them. These little munch holes might have been left behind by the apple sphinx moth caterpillar. The Carolina rose is a host plant for them. Over on the Action Sports Network, I did my best to follow a honeybee as it flew, very quickly, between these white clover. Ah, and here's one of my favorite channels, Birdhouse TV. At first, I didn't think much was happening in this birdhouse that our friend and talented art director Bethany Ng built for us. But now that I was sitting outside more regularly, I noticed that a bird was visiting it quite frequently. I set up my GoPro to try to figure out what was going on in there. Sure enough, it seemed that a pair of Carolina chickadees had nested in there. They were coming and going every few minutes, bringing grubs and larvae and who knows what else into the birdhouse. When I stood nearby, I could even hear the tiny peeps of chicks. I was confused to also see them leaving with what looked like a worm in their mouth, but Brooke explained to me that it was no worm. It was a fecal sac. These chickadee chicks poop out their waste encased in this thin layer of mucus. One of their parents then picks it up like a dirty diaper, flies it out of the nest, and disposes of it. Apparently, some bird parents also eat their fecal sacs. Sorry, I should have warned you that birdhouse TV can get gross. It can also get sad because I haven't seen any birds entering or exiting this house for the last week. Honestly, I'm a little worried about those chickadees. Around the same time I stopped seeing them, Brooke noticed this feathery part of something near the house. Listen, I don't want to make any assumptions here, so maybe I'll just change the channel before it gets too depressing. Ah, good. Here's the potato plant. And it's got a visitor, a Zabulon skipper. A pretty common butterfly around here. Ooh, and back to Pond TV, where there's a mysterious swarm of tiny things moving around the water? I have no clue what those are. Huh. And that's the exciting thing about watching your garden like it's cable television. Sometimes there are mysteries, sometimes there are reruns, sometimes there are tear jerkers, sometimes it's fast paced, sometimes it's slow. But it's always varied, always interesting. You'll probably learn something. And here in Pittsburgh, it'll be playing out 24 7 for the next couple of months.